who made history at the Grammys. <laughs> uh, you played at the Oscars. You're right on your way to have a number one here in the UK. <laughs> How does it feel to, fi to be Phineas and Billy right now? Overwhelming. It feels... Yeah, yeah it's it feels insane. It's super great. We just feel really lucky, mainly, I think, above all, all else. We just feel super lucky. And it's, it's, it's a very... Uh, it's a surreal thing, our lives as a whole. Um, but it's... We're, we're uh, very grateful for it. Take us back a bit, for those who don't know a lot about you. You collaborate together, uh, your brother and sister, mm -hmm. um, your best friends mm -hmm. as well. Is that true for both of you? Yes. I know it's true you say that, yes? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly, yeah, yeah. Um, how did you start working together? It was like 2015. I was 13, he was 17. Um, and it was kind of, I don't, I, it wasn't a joke, but we kind of had this like, I don't know. I remember Phineas one time was like, I said this in an interview a couple months ago where he was, he just like, literally, I, this was a joke. He said this as a joke. He was like, dude, I'm going to be the biggest pop star in the world. <laughs> it was so, <laughs> it was so annoying that he said that. And I was like, uh huh, sure. And you started um, making this incredible music, which has gone, you know, global is obviously a massive understatement. In <laughs> whose bedroom? Mine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, though. Yours is way smaller than mine was. Just where I had all my things, my computer. <laughs> and you my made the, so you made these fantastic songs in the bed, in your bedroom, literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we just kind of have always made music wherever we are. Um, you know, we 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 uh, wrote and recorded the Bond song in a tour bus in Texas. Um, <laughs> we did, uh, you know, certain songs on the album in hotel rooms, and you know, that's kind of always been our philosophy: is just like not letting the place that we are get in the way of making great music. And in fact, like. Not to be too broad, but like oftentimes when we have gone into a studio, I felt in intensely uninspired. And on the tour <laughs> that we ended up writing the Bond song, like a couple of days before we were actually able to write the Bond song, we rented out a studio to go try to write it. And oh my God, didn't, I didn't, uh, didn't that. write anything good. So, the Bond song. Correct. No Time to Die. <laughs> does somebody just give you a call? How does it work? I don't actually remember. <laughs> I, uh... I, I do know that we've been wanting to, to make a Bond song for years. And I remember at the beginning of last year, it was like we kind of told our whole team, like, hey, if, if any Bond things come up, we yeah. want to be involved if we can possibly be. Um, whatever we have to do, we will do. You know, the Bond thing is, I, I think people, the one that was made very public was that uh, Radiohead and Sam Smith mm -hmm. submitted songs for Spectre. You know, I think it's like, in your in your career, there are a few things that are as desirable as, as doing a Bond song, and we did not take the opportunity lightly, and, and we really um, just tried to work as hard as we could to, to prove ourselves worthy of that. So you get the call, and it's something you say you, you really, really wanted. Where do you even begin with writing a Bond song? Um, we had an intense amount of writer's block as soon as it was, uh, mm -hmm. like, as soon as we were called to action, and then... After like a day of that, again, like we, it was, I totally forgot we had that day in that studio. Miserable day. So you went in the studio and it didn't work? No, but that's because of the studio, <laughs> to be honest with you. We don't work well in studios. I just, it does not, it doesn't do the same thing. Um, and then I think after that day, we, Phineas came up with this just chord progression and immediately we were just like, oh, da, 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 we wrote the whole song. Um, did you, because there's obviously, I'm listening to it, there's lots of Bond influences. So did you go yeah. back and listen to the songs or did, were they kind of part of your psyche already? They were definitely part of our psyche already. I mean, mm. I think especially just because of, of how much of a moment um, Skyfall had been for those movies. We were familiar with Know My, uh, know my Name and uh, Another Way to Die and then obviously it's sort of the classics like Goldfinger. And yeah. Um, live and let die but I mean I, th I think especially like we wanted once we were sort of really sitting down to write it we we did go re-listen to everything as much to to know what had already been done before and what to avoid and not to copy anything. yeah we, we really wanted to make sure that we weren't making something that just felt like we were copying other great songs mm -hmm. so it was very helpful to listen to these songs and with the lyrics I mean how much of the movie did you know of the story before you wrote the lyrics we had a meeting with Barbara Broccoli in Ireland in like the beginning of September. She came to a show and she basically gave us like a little hint of what the first scene, okay. what has, what's happening. And then 
um, she sent us the first scene of the script. Okay. So like before the opening credits, she sent us the, the script and it was so cool to read that. Um, so we had, we had what the audience will have watched before they hear the song. So that's all we had. But it was really, really helpful. It, was, it, was, it really wrote the song for us, I feel like. How long did it take to write the song in the end? Once you, ha once you got past the writer's block, from, writer's from block. real sort of start of like the first thing that actually ended up making another song, like about three days. Which is pretty quick, isn't it? Very or is that quick, not quick for, for you? That's really quick for is us. Is it? Yeah. yeah. And, when, and you, did you know immediately once you'd done it that you got it right? That's a, you, that's a good question. I like that question. Meaning what, though? Like, got it right, you think we... That you were happy with you it. You think that we, were, we felt we were good. Um, no, that you were happy with it. We... I was super happy with it. Yeah. I think we... I knew we that we'd were, made ours. We were worried before we had made mm -hmm. it because we had a couple ideas and they just... I was, I was anxious. I was like, this isn't Bond, you know? And, and I think once um, we wrote it, I was, I was super happy with it. I really was. Have you seen the film yet? Yes. <gasps> have you? Yeah. And? Yeah. And Great. what? Have you, have you like signed secrecy? I'm sure. Um, you yes, have. for sure. It's amazing. And when you see the film with your song, I mean, that's got to be. Oh my god, I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. We haven't actually seen it with our song in we it yet. We haven't seen it with the no, song. No, we saw it when we were still working on the orchestration for the song, so they had. We saw like a, a a half done version of it though, so right. I know that it's gonna be like crazier. You know the song. You know that you're happy with the song, and then it goes out there. Do you feel nervous before you know you, you put it out there? Um, I I was pretty excited. I was kind of only excited, um, also because you know we did some things in the song that we've never done before, and I was excited for people to hear that we can do them. Um, and I don't know. It's just like it's so exciting to be part of this mm. franchise. So. Um, who does it matter most? Your mum's point of view or, <laughs> <laughs> or Daniel Craig's? My mum's point of view or Daniel Craig. She is actually in the room with us. Um, so what do you, I think you better say mum. What are you going to say? Wow. It's a really hard <laughs> one. Well, this is the first song I know Daniel's opinion of, of ours. That's true. Oh, do you? So. you know the opinion. What's he said? Well, he had to like it. <laughs> I don't if, Daniel now. Doesn't, if Daniel doesn't like it, they don't, you, you, know, you don't get the He's job. got a big say in it. We yeah. learned that from this. I didn't. I didn't think that would happen, but he's he's really involved. So yeah. he could have vetoed yeah. it. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A week ago, you were at the Oscars, which is an wait. Our mom's opinion is also really important. I just want to oh, say sorry. that. Oh, sorry. Our mom's opinion is very important. Tell me, what does mom think of it? I, she, I think she loves it. Mom loves loves but everything. But here's the problem, do. though. She does love everything we yeah. do. So. <laughs> Sometimes anyway, mom loves stuff that like like I just well, had to say we'll be in the car and we'll be like riffing on some like accident thing. Yeah, Mom will be like, like, I loved it. This is beautiful. Of course it is. You're her children. She's giving you the double thumbs up for the bond thing. Why would you not? So um, cute. <laughs> about the Oscars, uh, were you starstruck? I don't get starstruck, but I was terrified. Were you horrified? Uh, I was terrifying. Why? Because <laughs> why not? It's so scary. It was so because it's not. Like, okay, the difference between the Oscars and the Grammys being a musician is the Grammys are your people. Mm. Grammys are people that do what you do, you do what they do, you're in the same group, you know? Big or small, you, are, you all make music. And at the Grammys, at least I knew a lot of the people already, so I didn't have this feeling of like, oh my God, all these famous people I've never met before. Yeah. And at the Oscars, so scary. Because it's like movie stars. Like You have a huge amount of Instagram followers. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you still read everything that's on Instagram? No, no. I stopped like two days ago. Just two? Okay. Literally two days ago. And have you stopped stuff? Um, I stopped reading comments fully. Because? Because it was ruining my life. Was it? <laughs> Once again. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's weird. Like the, 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 uh, the cooler the things you get to do are, the more people hate you. It's crazy. What do we do about that? How do we make it better? Um, I don't know, dude. It's crazy. Mm. Cancel culture is insane. I mean, that's not what has been happening. It's just been like, just the internet is a bunch of trolls, you know? Mm. And it's like, the problem is a lot of it's really funny. <laughs> I think that's the issue. That's why nobody really stops, because it's funny. And Largely, nobody... it's a lack of accountability. I think even if it's your own face and your profile picture and it's your own name, it's still, everybody's much braver behind a cell phone screen than they, they would be if they walked down the street. You know? mm. it's, it's kind of crazy, even when you interact with people. Also, I would say it's like anything for a joke. Say anything to make somebody laugh. You know, I, I've, I've experienced that back in, 
you know, in, growing up, I'd say things that I thought people would laugh at, and then later I realized, like, that wasn't cool to say. And I even think, like, just taking how I felt when I was younger, maybe. Yeah. It's like when you feel that you have no public voice, and somebody does have a public voice, they, it seems so immeasurable in the equality scale of whose voice is louder, and you feel like your voice is very quiet, even though on platforms like Twitter and Instagram, it can reach them directly, you know, so I think you might see someone who's like a, a, a famous celebrity, and you might think, nothing I, you know, sticks and stones, nothing I can say is going to actually be, you know, uh, potent to them. But it, it all is. It's all very equal online. And it yeah. doesn't matter what, what, how big a star you are, how many Grammys you got, what it still can hurt. It's it's like, it's worse. It's like way worse than it's ever been right now. Is it? Yeah. Uh, what just, will you do? Will you know. stay? Will you, because it's difficult to, um, you know, I mean, to sort of stay off, isn't it? Will you do that, do you think? Um. Yeah, I think like, I mean, it's insane that I even have been reading comments up until this point. Mm -hmm. I, I should have stopped long ago. It's just the problem is I've always wanted to stay in touch with the fans oh. and like keep talking to them and like people have ruined that for me. So And for them. And for them. They've ruined it for them. Um, and that sucks. So I, I still try to like, you know, like fan posts or whatever and, and especially like, you know, if I see fans anywhere, like I just want to talk to them and like, you know, be around mm -hmm. them because they're people. Like they're they're me. <laughs> like they're me. They're like they're like other me's um, and so they're like friends of mine but yeah the internet is ruining every ruining my life so I'm, I turned it off oh, I'm really sorry to hear that it's all good yeah um, what about other parts of your life can you can you go shopping at all I mean the food shop shopping no yeah. no no it's no. completely out now. hell no you tried no. to go to Costco a while ago. I did try to go I went to Costco listen I went I uh it was it was it could have been worse though it was fun I had, a, I had a good time it was like the only people that came up to me were like nice it was a lot of people, but it was like, it was good. Yeah, you probably... It was nice. I don't know if you're good for sales or not. Probably not, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. But the, the... I don't know. I can't... It's so funny. Like, people... There's this thing that people think is, I guess, funny, where they, like, will dress up as an artist and, like, and go, go out in public, and then, like, a mob follows them, and I'm like, hey, y'all are so stupid. Like, it's so stupid, honestly. There was one I liked... That was a girl pretending to be me, and she was—it was the only one that I liked. She, she was like cute and like funny, and like, she actually at the end of the video she was like, "Wow, this is what Billy's life is like. Like yeah, that's so crazy. I respect you, girl." But then the rest of them are just—it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. You think I'd be going to the mall? Like, why would I? Why would I be at the mall? That's what I don't understand. It's like yep. all these people like following this person who actually isn't me. I feel so bad for them because it's like, they're like, "Oh my God, we just met and her," and not it's even not even, even me. As well. Um, so, playing at the Brits tonight. Crazy. Is it, yeah, so that's crazy for you, even at this stage? Do you feel nervous? Yeah. I'm just nervous to hit the belt, to hit that high note. I'm terrified. First time ever. So, please take it easy on me. I'm scared. Oh, because <laughs> of the song. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine, won't it? Do you have any, like, rituals, or do you have anything before you go? Or? I mean, I warm up. That's about it. We really, we really don't have rituals. People do that, like, huddle and stuff. Whenever like, people have their hands, and they go, ah, I'm always like, oh. but <laughs> Some people do it cute. Some people are very Anderson cute. Anderson Pack and his crew does it cute. I love the There's many people that we love that do it, but if someone told me I had to do it, I'd roll my eyes. So there's nothing about. that you do. You don't give each other a hug. You don't give each other a look. Oh, I give her a lot of this. hugs. We, like, we hug fist bump. I don't know. Okay. Fine. We do, like, little things, but we just I'm go and do the show. because shows. it's in front of your peers. Oh, song? hell no. I don't know who's coming. <laughs> no, it's just... It's just the song. No, it's just the song. I'm so scared. Because it's a new... We've never performed it, ever. It just, like... Up until the day it came out, we've been keeping it a secret for months. So it feels so weird that it's, like, in the public, and especially now that I'm performing it, and yeah. I'm hitting a note I've never hit before. I'm scared. Should I practice? I'm kidding. No, you hell no. <laughs> you do not have to thank, you, thank you so much. It's absolutely wonderful to meet you, and thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having us. Really interesting to be here. All the things you've